हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल श्री फिजिक्स वी आर स्टडिंग थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ एलेवन फिजिक्स एंड इन दैट चैप्टर टुडे वी विल सॉल्व सम मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस एंड ऑल दिस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस आर फ्रॉम टेक्स्ट बुक दिस इज फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट वट इज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टूडेज फर्स्ट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन इज an object thrown from a moving bus is an example of and four options are a uniform circular motion b rectilinear motion c projectile motion and d motion in one dimension so an object thrown from a moving bus is an example of which of the of these four options is correct consider this bus which is moving perpendicular to the plane of figure you can see this is back side of the bus when an object is thrown from this moving bus in this direction then it will move along this path and will fall on the ground is this an example of uniform circular motion or rectilinear motion projectile motion or motion in one dimension definitely it is not a uniform circular motion because for uniform circular motion that object should move along the circumference of a circle here this path you can see is not a circle object is not moving along the circumference of a circle therefore it is not a uniform circular motion for a rectilinear motion that object should move along straight line path this path is not a straight line path therefore this is not an example of a rectilinear motion motion in one dimension see this fourth option motion in one dimension means motion along a straight line which is also a rectilinear motion meaning of this b and d is same motion in one dimension means motion along straight line means motion rectilinear motion this motion is not motion in one dimension therefore only correct option is projectile motion this is an example of projectile motion we have studied this projectile motion in projectile motion object moves along this type of path therefore definitely this is an example of projectile motion this was first example now second example for a particle having uniform circular motion which of the following is constant and four options are a speed b acceleration c velocity and d displacement for a particle having ucm uniform circular motion which of the following is constant we know when the particle moves along the circumference of a circle then it is called as uniform circular motion when particle moves with constant speed suppose the particle is at this position when particle moves on the circumference then you will see that directions of various vectors change in this given four options first option speed is a scalar quantity and we know scalar has only magnitude no direction while remaining three b c and d are vectors vectors have both magnitude as well as direction and in case of vectors if any one of changes either magnitude or direction then we say that that vector changes so in this case what happens when we say acceleration acceleration of a particle performing ucm is directed along the radius towards the center at this position see here in the figure this direction of acceleration is towards the center means towards left when particle reach at top then you will see direction of acceleration is again along the radius towards the center but it is now downward when particle goes on this left position then acceleration is again directed towards center but it is towards right now when particle goes at bottom acceleration is towards center but it is upward 
so direction of this acceleration continuously changes though magnitude may remain constant but direction changes therefore that acceleration also changes acceleration is not constant then what about velocity direction of this linear velocity is along the tangent see here now when the particle goes at the top direction will be towards left when the particle goes at this left position velocity will be directed downward so direction of velocity is also continuously changing therefore velocity is not constant what about displacement displacement also changes when particle goes this position to this position direction uh, displacement has one direction when particle goes from this top position to this left position again displacement has some different directions therefore direction of displacement also changes therefore all these three quantities acceleration velocity and displacement are not constant though their magnitudes are constant in ucm but their directions are not constant therefore these quantities are not constant so only one option and that option is a will be correct option that is speed speed is scalar quantity and has only magnitude and in uniform circular motion magnitude of speed remains constant therefore correct option will be speed say what is written here speed is a scalar quantity while acceleration velocity displacement are vectors magnitude of speed in ucm is constant hence it is constant it has no direction magnitude remains constant means that quantity is constant but magnitude of acceleration velocity and displacement remain constant but directions continuously change hence these quantities are not constant therefore correct option will be option a that is speed so this was question number 2 next question number 3 the bob of a conical pendulum undergoes and four options are a rectilinear motion in horizontal plane b uniform motion in a horizontal circle c uniform motion in a vertical circle and d rectilinear motion in vertical circle see this figure this is a conical pendulum pendulum suspended from this rigid support s point of suspension is a when this pendulum is taken on one side this position b and rotated in horizontal circle then it it describes a cone and it is called as conical pendulum definitely this particle performs circular motion but in a horizontal plane therefore correct option will be circular motion uniform motion in horizontal circle so particle moves in uniform motion on horizontal circle therefore correct option is b rectilinear rectilinear motion in horizontal plane that is wrong because in a rectilinear motion particle moves along a straight line path here particle b is not moving along a straight line path therefore option a cannot be correct option what about option c it says uniform motion in vertical circle in conical pendulum particle moves in horizontal circle not in a vertical circle therefore this option c is also wrong and what about this d d says rectilinear motion in vert vertical circle in fact it is a contradictory because rectilinear motion it cannot be in a circle therefore and also not in a vertical conical motion of conical pendulum is not in a vertical circle therefore this option d is also wrong so only correct option is b uniform motion in horizontal circle this was question number 3 now question number 4 for uniform acceleration in a rectilinear motion which of the following is not correct rectilinear motion means motion along a straight line and it is uniformly accelerated motion means speed of the vehicle or that object continuously increases or continuously decreases uniformly increases what are the options velocity time graph is linear b acceleration is the slope of velocity time graph c the area under the velocity time graph equals displacement c 
velocity time graph is non linear now see the graph of velocity time for rect for uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion the graph is like this in the figure time is taken on x axis and velocity is taken on y axis and when velocity continuously and uniformly increases then the nature of graph is like this shown by this blue line so velocity time graph is linear that is correct option because here the graph is a straight line we have all seen this in one video option b acceleration is the slope of velocity time graph we have also seen in this in that video that slope of this graph gives acceleration so uh, option b is also correct option we have to find wrong incorrect option wrong option so a is correct b is correct what about c the area under the velocity time graph equals displacement we have also seen in that video that this area shown by this shaded portion area under under this velocity time curve means area bounded by this velocity time curve and this x axis the shaded area gives a displacement so that option c is also correct but option d velocity time graph is non linear that is not correct that is wrong you will see in this figure that this graph is linear not non linear we have to find out incorrect option and incorrect option is d so answer of this question is d so in this way we have solved four questions and one more question that is today's last question question number 5 if three particles a b and c are having velocities vector a vector b and vector c which of the following formula gives relative velocity of a with respect to b and options are vector a plus vector b b vector a minus vector c plus vector b d vector a minus vector b and d vector c minus vector a now see we know that when two objects or two cars are moving then velocity of suppose this first car a red color car is a car a and this blue color car is a car b then velocity of a with respect to b means velocity observed by a passenger sitting in a car b velocity of velocity of a seen by passenger sitting in car b and we have seen that it is equal to difference between two velocities velocity of car a minus velocity of car b therefore correct option is c vector a minus vector b so in this way we have solved five five multiple choice questions which were from textbook thank you for watching